Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel, which is about Twin Flame Reconnection and your Ascension. How are you today? In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about these intense August energies and lions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this Mercury retrograde because this is a significant one. It is not like some of the other ones. So if you've ever heard of Mercury retrograde, you're kind of like, oh my God, it's Mercury retrograde. What's gonna go backwards now, right? What you should be asking yourself is, what can you break up with? Yeah, what can you break up with? What needs breaking up with? What do you need to help your twin break up with through your twin flame body? Because you can't go over to their house. I don't recommend it. Don't get yourself in trouble in your physical life with this journey. And some people do. They will go confront people. This has happened again and again. It is not the way. It is not above board. It's not who we are. And this is not where your connections are. Because if you're going to talk ego to ego, you're going to get egoic reactions. There is a better way for you. So we have several energetics happening all at the same time. And this is going to feel like a layered kind of sandwich. We've got a new moon, Mercury retrograde, lion's gate, overlighted by a larger, lengthier retrograde energy retrograde sandwich you're going to feel like you're in permanent retrograde this year and the reason is this get your stuff done and you may not know what that stuff is but you're going to be able to tell by how uncomfortable certain things are and all separation is ended so you're going to feel a percentage of it from your twin flame wherever they are you're going to feel that they need to do something and you might tell yourself yeah, they need to come and get me. I've been waiting at the train station for like five years. No, 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 no. You both wake each other up. That is a given and that is an equal. Sometimes we give our twins a bad rap by thinking they're doing nothing. But sometimes they've been supporting you through your things that you grow with and break up with. So let's really look at this energy. So the new moon is in here and the new moon actually helps you. This is like the earthy, loamy soil. This is the darkness that is the velvet of the womb, the black velvet, okay? Like that warm, enveloping, you know, soft feeling. Not claustrophobic, not squeezing you, but what needs to grow. This is like your um, inner place where you're developing and like, it's not even brainstorming. You're feeling into what is it that needs to change, okay? This is new moon. Is that a business? Is that something that you're going to start? This is not a business class, though, that I'm having. This is to get you into the proper level so that you can utilize this energy, okay? It's very earthy. This means it pertains to your earthly life. This isn't some abstract, airy-fairy, you know, baloney, like we're waving around like, you know, wands. No, no, no. You got to roll up your sleeves, use your light body, and actually take actions in this energy. And I'm going to teach you how to do that if it's not your stuff. If it's your twin flame stuff, we talk about that. We really get our sleeves rolled up and get into the nitty gritty of this. It's also Virgo, okay? So this has a lot to do with your personal life and your comforts. Mercury retrograde. What are you retroing? What is? What are you getting the pushback on? And I'm going to tell you, this is happening worldwide. Angels push back. We bite back, okay? We don't always draw blood, but we have our boundaries, and then that's when we push back. One of these things should be where people come from. Maybe it start to push back on some of those really bad leaders that you've had instead of running and fleeing. That occurred to me one day. I was like, why are we always so much in our fight or flight system that we have to flee and everything's a crisis, but we're not pushing back 
Do we have a tax revolt? Do we have like impeachments of bad leaders or removing people from their, well, yeah, it is happening because sometimes that needs to happen. The flip side of that is what are you pulling through that is a part of the solution? Because blaming and shaming and guilting and obligation and always having, it's like I said for years, you can't expect the same people to always be putting on their capes. It's time for other people to step up. It's time to start doing what you can do in the physical, even if it's baby steps, even if you're breaking out of your comfort zone because that old zone, it's not comfortable anymore. That's why the pressure is on. Earth changes Virgo energy, okay? This means new, refreshed, renewed, re -virginize. Can you clear your sexual energy? Can you clear your love energy? Who's hanging in it? Who's hanging on you? Who's siphoning off your energy? Who's sucking out your sweetness? I mean, let's be real. Everyone has people and we have our people and then we have, you know, the parasites and everything else. What are we doing about this? What is the renewal? Are we renewing the terms of these old contracts? I'm going to tell you something right now. It's not supported. Old Carmen contracts are not supported. Transitional contracts, those are what we're going to help you with, where it's not let's make a deal time or wheel of fortune. It's time to really get down to brass tacks of what is it that's needed here in this situation for now. For the next segment of time with this retrograde energy, New Moon Energy, Lion's Gate Energy helping you. Why the Lion's Gate? Because you are bringing in parts of your cosmic essence and your Twin Flames energy to assist you and permanently reside with you. Permanence. Permanent changes. Not temporary. Even uh, We have an eye towards making some things with an eye towards permanent changes. Okay? has to do with your personal life and comforts. This is going to include breaking contracts, whether it's a tacit agreement or an actual agreement and contract. Now, what will this mean? This could mean wills and trusts. This could be land rights. This could be things that run in the family. These are things that belong to you, things that you've lent out, borrowed, borrowed from, what are you renewing and what are you deciding that you want to change it? Are they the terms of your marriage? Are they the terms of your divorce? Are they the terms of a breakup with a job? And I'm going to tell you this right now. Do it as graciously and above board as possible. It is not our style as high angelic beings, human angelics, to do this from a place of anger, forcefulness, or fear. We don't have to. We have connections that other people don't even know about. And so we can do this very graciously, gracefully, even gradually, where it suits you. Now, how do you know? Because along with this breaking of things should come breakthroughs. Now, when you get a breakthrough, you sometimes get the first piece of that. Something gives and it finally, something showed up that is part of the permanent change. It could be about money. It probably will be about money. Things having to do with houses. All of your Venus retrograde stuff, money, houses, career, the callings of your heart, your mission, other people, family, like all that stuff that's been stuck in your Hara and root chakras. It's got to budge because guess what? That's your stuff. It belongs up by your heart. It belongs by your heart energy. So we're going to be talking about this and helping people over a several day period here. And the links are below. I hope that you can join us. Please reach out with your questions. Even if you feel like you've been treading water, okay, you've been treading water, you're wondering how you're going to go from point A to point B. We work with your light body so that you will perceive 
that you are making progress. You will see things show up in your life. And this is very different because you'll get vagaries from people that do energy readings. You'll get vagaries from people that pull cards. You are not going to get vague stuff when I work with you from a multidimensional level and you feel specifics. That's the key difference. You get specifics. You get specifics about health, well-being, money, family stuff, whatever your query is, okay? It's very different than getting this vague, like, uh, your twin flame, your divine masculine is having some regrets. And then you sit there again another season. Get moving, take some actions, join the class. You will find out, and we do live Q&A, questions and answers, and you're with an amazing bunch of people that are just like you, okay? You're in this to win this, and we like to keep it simple and sweet so that you feel it, because otherwise, what's the point? When you felt love, you want to feel it again and again and again until it is permanently with you. Bye.